Hi, my name is Rodrigo Gonzalez and today I will take you through the basics of setting up a bike. Depending on the brand of the bike, there are several sizes. Some brands have, uh, for example, 50, 52, 54. Other bike frames or other bike uh, brands have small, medium and large. And also other ones have uh, like 51, 53, 55. So it's difficult to have the ideal size in all of the brands because they vary. But if you're in between two sizes, I think it's better to get the smaller one because that way you have a lighter frame. So you can always adjust it when it's such a small difference in size and it's gonna be lighter. There are some very basic bike fits where they just measure you and then they tell you more or less how you should be. But the more experienced you are as an athlete, the, the most advanced or complete you need the bike fit to be. So in my case, I have been to several bike fits when the bike is measured, then several uh, little changes. There are like very little changes that are done to the bike. And then you have a power test of one minute. And then depending on those little variations, you can actually see a difference in the power output. So it can really make a difference when you're talking about a whole race that will be almost one hour in the bike. That can be a big difference. There are some basics to the bike fit position, but there are also some things that vary from person to person. For example, the position of the foot. Some people have a, like the heel in or the heel out. And this is very important because there are several problems that may come from a bad uh, cleat position as this may, uh, it may affect the knee and also the hip. So, it must be neutral ideally but depending on the position of your feet that's how you should put your cleats for the seat height there are basic ways of knowing it but they are not exact it's just like to have a an idea if you rent a bike or you're gonna go for a spin with a bike that is not yours usually they say that your heel should be touching the pedal if it's straight and once it's in the correct position, it should be slightly bent. Uh, this position may vary from person to person. There's a range of degrees that the knee should be. If your seat is very tall, then you will not be able to have such a high power output. But also if it's very short, you will also have uh, knee problems and you won't be as efficient as well. Depending not just on the, the length of your legs, but also of your arms and your upper body, it's the distance you should have from the handlebar to the seat. And well, you usually change the stem of the handlebar when you need it longer or shorter. In this specific case, it's just one piece, so I should change the whole piece if I want it to go longer or shorter. But in other bikes, you can adjust the height and you can like the angle of the stem and other things. But in this bike, that's not adjustable. But also the seat, the when you when you set up a bike, you have to make sure you comply with the rules of the ITU. So you need to have the seat at least more than five centimeters back from the middle of this imaginary line that goes in the middle of the, of the bottom bracket. It's really important to have a comfortable bike, but at the same time, it needs to be aerodynamic and an aggressive position. So this can vary from one person to another. And also depending on the objectives you have, there are people who go for long rides and they want a really comfortable bike. And other people like me, the priority is to have a really fast bike and an aerodynamic position. I hope these tips will help you enjoy riding and always remember to go to a professional so you can get the best bike fit for your specific characteristics.